Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at a young lady from the Euro line of Paula Young. Her name is Sean, and this is this young lady. I'm excited to see her, are you? Well, stick around. Welcome back everyone. This is Coco's Hair Solutions and I'm Coco. Today we are going to be looking at a young lady named Sean from Polly Young. This is her. She's a, a unstructured bob and I have her in the color Royal Silver, which is a rooted color in the Euro line. So let's go ahead and see what she looks like. Get her out of that box. Okay, well let's go ahead and brush her out. She comes with that zigzag part. She looks like she's been laying in that box. So we want to freshen up Freshen up those fibers, wake them up, tell them it's time to come out and play, right? So we're just gonna brush her top, get that zigzag part unstructured out of there, and then shake her really good, okay? Wake that up. Well, let's take a look at her cap construction, alrighty? So it looks like we have pretty much a closed cap construction on the top, the crown, and the front. We have a really nice, thick, wide velvety band right here, but there is no open wefts on the top. But it's not a, actually a real same kind of closed netting because I don't feel a whole lot of permatees. There is some permatees on the top, and we'll take a look at that. So there is some, you won't see the wefts, on top, so that's a really good a good feature. All right, we happen to have closed ear tabs on both the right and the left with fibers stitched underneath. Let's see, there's a metal stay in there as well. We happen to have an extended cl closed nape with velveteen fabric on that, which is really comfortable. I mean, even right now, that's, that's exceptionally soft. And then of course, Velcro closures or adjusters on the right and left of the nape. So you can tighten or loosen the circumference um, measurement around there. And of course, all the stretchy wefts in between that help make this very comfortable. Let's go ahead and see with this unstructured bob what she's going to look like. I can't wait. Alrighty, so what I'm wearing today is Salem, part of Holly Young's VersaFiber line in the color Buttered Toast, 1226 number six. So you, I've already done a, a review on her, go take a look and let's go ahead and put Sean on. Okay, this is Sean right out of the box. I'm thinking I like this. I was not sure about the unstructured, but oh, wow. Okay, well, she's automatically wanting to part on my left. Let me do a spin just now, because I almost really like this messy look, don't you? Let's turn around and take a look at her everywhere. What kind of movement do we have? There we go. She's meant to be unstructured and kind of shaggy. Oh, I could see. Oh, I'm already getting an idea about having this long bang kind of sweep back like this across there. And it does a really nice sweep there from the crown area or the front area. So she's up at my hairline. You can see my own um, widow's peak right there. But she lays over the top of the cap or the edge of the cap adequately i think now i probably even though my hair is uh, bio hair is gray i uh, might kind of either darken my bio hair a little bit to have it blend in with the darkness of the root on the cap um i think that's what i would probably do just a little bit but oh my goodness i think she's meant to be messy like this let's take a look at this picture again she is really cute. I think that's what she's supposed to look like, isn't it? You know, I think this is a cute one. I think this is a very doable gray wig because it's it's this cropped edge here. This is so cute. I like it. You Because of all the messiness that we can do with this. Okay, let me, where's my brush? Let me comb her a little bit or brush her a little bit just to get out. Now, I would probably take 
take my curling iron or hot iron, hot airbrush and I would probably want to accentuate this so that it sweeps a little bit more kind of off off like that like off into the sunset right <laughs> well anyway now yeah she they've got her coming over coming out and over this eyebrow kind of like this see in the picture Oops, let's get some of that glare off of there. Yeah, see, she's, they've got it over her eyebrow a little bit, kind of like this. So I probably would work with my, um, with my hot airbrush by uh, curling it up, but I'm gonna add some of my pressure and my warmth from my fingertips up against the hair or the fibers coming off of the cap right there so that that lifts it up. And then I would take, well, let me show you. <laughs> Take my hot air brush and curl it like a flip, just so it would start. So I'm going to have it curl up and over like this. So I'm going to try and train it to come up and curl out this way. And then in this lower part, I'm going to have it flip and go out. So. Okay, see how it's starting to go this way? I want to keep that, but I'm going to need to add the height right here. So something I call the shelving or shelving, you know, so that it, you can kind of see how it comes out and then we'll go across here. So I'm gonna be working on this flip first. I'll do the flip first so that I get it to lay, the ends to lay right, and then I will work on this. So, oh, what fun. Okay, well, that's what I would do with this. Let's, let's play with her, okay? Let's flip her over to the other side and see what happens. So, oh, well, look it, I'm already getting that. <laughs> How about that? Okay, bring that up and over. Okay, so what we learned is that if we part, want to part it on the left, then it's not, you're gonna run the chance that maybe we're gonna see some of the wefting underneath. So I think that she's going to have to be meant to stay on the left-hand part, which, you know, I mean, if she looks great, then we just get used to the fact that it's different than what we, we are used to. Um, so we can um, play around with that. Let's, let's get some water on her. I know that with this kind of unstructured curl, that that uh, water is probably going to make it look kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to keep that bang over here, but I'm going to mess up everything else. Just let it kind of fall where it may. I think this is a real cute little wig. Lots of fullness, a, a, a really good length, a little bit long, but not too long. And doesn't she look like she could actually get very dressy? I think she could. I might even want to put in a little bit more teasing up here. You know, this is the kind of brush that I like to use for teasing my wigs. It's a, you know, another rat tail, it makes it real easy to get up there and lift, but it also has all of these extra teeth in them. So I like using it to add a little bit of height in certain places. Or if I'm needing to keep, <clears throat> keep part of my hair, um, in a place. So if I really wanted to make these work here, right here, I might go ahead and tease that into place. And that can keep that in this position, but I'm here, I'm gonna to have to really work on that, that part there. But anyway, let's, let's see. I, I like her just like this. I mean, messy and fun, but isn't that cute? What fun! You know, you can, yeah, with all the permatease right here in this part, you aren't gonna see the wefts right here, but you are gonna be limited to what you may wanna do. Let's try, 
now that it's wet, let's see what happens with taking her to the other side. And maybe if we just lay all of these fibers in a certain direction or a certain way, um, maybe some coming down like this, a zigzag part somehow, and then end up, yeah. Well, that's not bad. We, you know, I don't see anything wrong with this. She's definitely unstructured. So if you don't like the messy look, this is probably not the girl for you. But um, if you don't mind the messy look, and um, you know, I think this kind of, either this coloring with the silver and this styling elevates um, the, what you call the beachy wave look. So um, with a really nice cropped look and uh, you know, a shorter, kind of um, bob with some length, you're going to get a little bit more of a almost coiffed um, or specifically styled hairstyle. It's not just random, it's not just messy um, and straggly. I guess that's, that's the unfortunate term I'm talking about because a lot of the beachy waves, they have stringy or they've got length and all the ends are razor cut. But this is not quite that that kind of thinness around the edges. So we get a little bit more of a structured, unstructured, structured look, if you will. So anyway, so this is this is this direction. Let's try a couple of headbands, okay? Oh, I would love. Well, here's my black square band, which is classic and goes with everything, doesn't it? It's understated because it almost blends in with the roots, but it's still, it can be meant to hold back your bangs or whatever. And if you want to have a little bit of fun, and let me show you how I use my wire cloth bands. Okay, it's got a little wire inside this tube of fabric. So you take it, flatten it out as best you can, holding the wires this way. Okay, then I'm going to just put it behind my ears, go as low as I can, take that, twist it. And then fluff all my hair around my headband. I got a little bit extra there. All right. So, and then fix my bangs how I want them to be. Cute. Very cute. And the link for my headbands is, are all listed down below. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be it for this young lady. This is Sean from Paula Young, a fun, messy, unstructured bob. And oh my gosh, in the beautiful color Royal Silver from the Euro Collection. So I hope this has been enjoyable for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's so nice to know that you're out there watching and being with me. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button and even give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. So you have a good day. I will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Okay, bye-bye.